All right, what's going on everybody? It's Hashtag Motor. Today we're doing a top speed test on the 2004 CRF 250X. It has no performance mods done to it besides uh, the snorkel is cut out of the gearbox and I jetted it for, well, obviously this altitude and climate. It has a 158 main and a 42 pilot. I ordered the JD jetting kit and I took out the spark cone. I didn't take out the baffle or the spark arrestor. I just took out the, what I think it's called a spark cone or whatever it is. Pretty much just makes the bike very quiet, which I'm not a fan of, but I left everything else in there for the back pressure. Um, gearing is stock, tire size is stock, suspension is rep. Um, I am not able to edit any of my videos because I missed a payment on my power director plan and they canceled my subscription for 26 days and I can't get it back for another 26 days. So, well, it was 30 days, obviously being a month, but I can't get it back for another 26. So I'm not able to edit my videos and I'm sorry for that for the next 26 days. But after that, we'll be going strong again with a bunch more videos. Until then, I'm probably just gonna do top speed runs and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go up the road. I'm gonna turn around, show you guys the app that I'm using and we'll get on it. watch those so I'll show you guys the app that I'm using right now I'm sorry about not being able to edit my videos it really sucks but because I had two videos I was gonna upload so let's go over here I'm using the app called GPS speed speed box doesn't tell me my top speed it just tells me my current speed so I'm using the app it's called GPS speed um, it is two miles an hour off as it has always been it is because of the GPS if you're new to the system the GPS or new to the channel, sorry. It's due to me being in the middle of nowhere, first of all, and second of all, you don't have service here, and it's upside down in my pocket. So that combination really just doesn't go well, and it's always two miles an hour off. So showing you guys that right there. Show you guys what the app looks like. Tells you your elevation and a bunch of other fun stuff. That is fifth gear, rev limiter, wide open on the slightest downhill. It's running the slightest bit lean today due to the weather, but that's fine. Really shouldn't be holding it wide open, but I get a lot of comments. Oh, you got to hold it wide open for longer, so just did it. All right, 78 miles an hour, which means it hit 80, which isn't bad for this bike. I mean, it's not as fast as the, uh, the KDX 220 or as jumpy as the KDX 220. But for someone that wants a bike that follows emissions and that you can register, as you can see, it is and or was registered. Um, pretty good bike. I'll give my opinions on it and a review on it in the next couple weeks as soon as I get Power Director back. And I'll give you guys my honest opinion on this bike versus the KDX and which you should go for. So that will be coming up soon. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm very sorry about not being able to edit my videos. It really sucks. At the most I can do right now is trim and cut that's all i can do because i would have to use the basic um video editor but if need be i'll do that so i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching hashtag moto out